Almost all of our student body uses social media. Even the principal uses Twitter. But how does social media affect their workload and their grades? According to the website, ProInCount.org, students who are heavy social media users tend to have lower grades. 31% of teens say that using social media during homework reduces the quality of their work. I think teenagers spend too much time on social media, myself included. So if you handle your time well, I think it doesn't affect you. But if you just on your phone all the time, then yes. Yes, because I feel like I get distracted by what everyone else is doing and what other people post, and I worry more about social media than my homework. It doesn't. Uh, I would say probably not. Um, I really don't go on social media that much. Um, what I do, I don't think it really would affect my grades. Maybe it distracts me every once in a while when I'm doing homework, but that's about it. It's, yeah, my grades are already poor, so I don't think it would affect less than 60, so... Um, I find that social media can be and often is a huge distraction for my students. Um, instead of focusing on a piece of literature or a story, they're often playing a game or on a website or on Facebook and it can be really distracting and my fear is they don't have the ability to focus um, like they used to prior to all this social media. Um, no, because they don't let it, but it definitely could. Explained by the website grownandflown.com. More than 40,000 college students and discovered that most of them showed signs of what they call multidimensional perfectionism, which is defined as perfectionism driven by unrealistic high expectations. I think everyone's fake on social media. They try to look better for themselves. No, I feel like you should dress how you want because it will Clearly. make you happier. Yeah. yeah. Obviously not. It's, no, not at all. <laughs> it doesn't. Social media sites are a major source for bullying. Time.com states as many as 25% of teenagers have experienced cyberbullying at some point. About 10% of teens have been victims of cyberbullying in the last 30 days. I definitely think cyberbullying is a bit of an issue, but I think a lot of people need to grow up. At our school, I don't think cyberbullying is a problem. I think we're all good kids here. Um, I think it is a problem today because I like see stuff online where like everyone's like being mean and stuff. But like I don't think they're doing it to be like hurtful. I think they're just sharing their opinions and they don't understand how it affects other people. I think it used to be a bigger problem than it is now, but some people still are affected by it. Yes and no. I mean, some people think think it's serious. I you know, but. Other people can overcome things. I can't say it personally affected me, but uh, I mean, there's definitely people out there who struggle and have problems because of cyberbullying. So yeah, I would say probably is. So it looks like social media affects people's grades, how they feel about themselves, and can also be a form of bullying.